This is an 80 Q&A practice test. Plaintiff Attorney, Mr. Miller, capital M-I-L-L-E-R. Defense Attorney, Ms. M.S. period, Arnold, capital A-R-N-O-L-D. <clears throat> I'll spell it once more. A-R-N-O-L-D. And we'll start with defense attorney. Ready? Here we go. Okay, what is your date of birth for 2084? Where were you born? in South Carolina. What city or town? Flint. What is your current home address? Here? Yes. 911 Gage Avenue. Is that gate or gauge? Gage. G-A-G-E. In what city? Long Beach. How long have you lived there? about three years. Where did you live before that? In the valley. In which valley? The San Gabriel or San Fernando? San Fernando Valley. What was your home address in the San Fernando Valley? I don't remember, but I have it at home. Are you married? No. Do you have any kids? Yes. How many kids do you have? One. Do they live with you? No. What is their name and age? 13 years old. Anne West. Does anyone else live with you at your current home address? Yes. Who? My aunt and my cousin. Have you ever served in the military? No. What is the highest level of education you have completed? 11th grade. Was that in South Carolina? In South Carolina. Have you taken any classes here in the U.S. like vocational training? I only went to take some English classes. Where? Carmel High. Have you ever been involved in any civil proceeding? No. Have you ever been involved in any criminal proceedings? I would object to this question. It's very broad and vague as to understanding of applicant because he's not a lawyer and he will not understand these questions about civil and criminal proceedings, so it's not meant to lead to discovery of any admissible evidence. Do you want to rephrase it? I'm going to instruct him not to answer. Which question are you objecting to? My last one? Yes, you know the civil question he answered, but I don't think he would understand what a criminal proceeding is, Counselor. Mr. Rios, have you ever sued someone in either Superior Court or Small Claims Court? No. Okay. Never. Has any other person 
ever sued you in small claims court or superior court, not that I can recall. Has anybody ever brought any lawsuit against you or charges for a crime? I would object to that question. It's very broad as to time and it's not relevant to the issues of the case. You can ask if there's a felony conviction, but that's all. No, actually, Counselor, the discovery is very broad in this case. All right, <clears throat> we have a long word list. Ready, here we go. South Carolina, capital S-O-U-T-H, new word, capital C-A-R-O-L-I-N-A. -A. Flint, capital F L. I N T Long Beach capital L O N G new word capital B E A C H <clears throat> gate capital G A T E San Gabriel capital S A N new word capital G A B R I E L <clears throat> San Fernando Valley capital S A N new word capital F E R N A N D O new word capital V A L L E Y Ann West capital A N N new word capital W E S T U S capital U period capital S period English capital E N G L I S H Carmel High, capital C A R M E L, new word, capital H, <clears throat> excuse me, H I G H. Mr. Rios, capital R I O S. Small Claims Court capital S M A L L new word capital C L A I M S new word capital C O U R T superior court capital S U P E R I O R New word, capital C-O-U-R-T. And that is it for the word list. And that will conclude our 80 Q&A practice test.